now relative motion the motion of an object with respect to other moving or stationary object is called a relative motion isn't it now the definition for distance the length of the path followed by an object if an object's path is straight the distance is the length of the straight line between start and finish isn't it if an object's path is not straight the distance is the length of the path if you were to straight in a vector and measure it the way you would measure the length of a curved shoelace displacement the definition for displacement is the displacement is a vector that points from an object's initial position to the its final position and has a magnitude that equals the shortest distance between the two positions the si unit of displacement is meter average speed is the total distance traveled for the object in question divided by the total elapsed time taken to travel the distance the average speed is equal to total distance by total elapsed time definition for average velocity the average velocity is the rate of change from the initial value t equal to a and the end value t equal to b of f of t average velocity is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a uniform motion in a straight line a body is said to be in a uniform motion if it travels up distance in equal intervals of time along a straight line for your reference see the below example now the interesting motion that is circular motion we all know that the earth is in circular motion what is the meaning of circular motion the definition for circular motion is motion of a body along a circular path is known as circular motion uniform circular motion motion of a body along a circular path with the constant speed is called uniform circular motion now very important topic for today's lecture that is acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is a vector quantity which is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity an object is accelerating if it is changing its velocity this is the important topic for today's lecture consider an object moving along a straight line with constant acceleration what is the meaning of acceleration can anyone say acceleration is defined as acceleration is defined as changing velocity with respect to time change in velocity with respect to time
delta v by delta t it is always constant as you are always right i hope you are all understand as a ratio and how it goes to constant now let us learn equations of uniform acceleration motion now the first equation of motion first equation of motion we know the root first equation of motion already we know that what is that a equal to delta v by delta t okay now when your body is moving along this straight line this is the straight line this is the body body means bus truck whatever it may be when your body is moving along this straight line let u be the initial velocity u be the initial velocity at a time t equal to 0 seconds and v be the final velocity at a time t equal to t seconds okay let u be the initial velocity at a time t equal to 0 seconds and v be the final velocity at time t equal to t seconds whether displacement is yes what is the meaning of displacement displacement means the shortest distance the shortest distance covered by a body here the displacement is yes the initial velocity u final velocity v time is first when at u time is 0 seconds when at v the time is t seconds now a equal to delta v by delta t what is delta v delta v means change of velocity here the initial velocity is u and the final velocity is v change in velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity here the final velocity is v and the initial velocity means u v minus u and time taken change in time here change in time here time equal to t seconds t minus 0 seconds okay simply we can write this as v is equal to v minus u by t okay by the cross multiplication by the cross multiplication we will write this as a t is equal to v minus u okay a t is equal to v minus u this equation can be write as a t minus a t equal to v minus u this equation can be write as a t plus this u comes to this side so this minus this negative mark as converted into positive mark so a t plus u is equal to v a t plus u equal to v this can be simply write as v is equal to u plus a t this is the first equation of motion this is the first equation of motion do you understand let us explain once again a equal to delta v by delta t we know that acceleration is called change in velocity by time taken so a equal to change in velocity final velocity minus initial velocity here the final velocity v minus initial velocity u so v minus u by time taken t minus 0 this can be write as a is equal to v minus u by t by the cross multiplication we will get a t equal to v minus u this is simply write as a t plus minus u is plus u here and a t plus u equal to v v is equal to u plus a t this is the equation of motion first equation of 
motion. Okay? Do you understand? I think you are all understand well. Okay. Here, first equation gives velocity acquired by a body in time t. First equation gives velocity. Velocity. by a body in time t. This is the first equation of motion. First equation of motion gives velocity acquired by a body in time t. That means all the equation shows the body in time velocity acquired. That means velocity acquired by a body in time. We learn about first equation of motion. Now we are going to learn about second equation of motion. Second equation of motion. What is second equation of motion? Can anyone say? Second equation of motion gives the distance travelled by a body in time t. This gives the distance the distance travelled by a body distance travelled by a body in time t. Substitute. 
put this V is equal to U plus AT in this subject, in this equation. Okay. Now, U, U plus V by 2 equal to S by T. Okay. U plus V. What is the value of V? V equal to U plus AT. So, U plus AT by 2 equal to S by P. Okay. Add these two U's. 2U plus AT by 2 equal to S by P. Okay. Do you understand? U, 2U plus AT by 2 equal to S by P. By cross multiplication. By cross multiplication. We will get. 2UT, okay, 2UT plus AT square, AT into T, AT square is equal to 2S, 2S, okay. Divide both sides with 2, divide both sides with 2, 2U plus AT equal to Divide both sides with 2. Then we will get 2UT plus 2 plus AT square by 2 equal to 2S by 2. Okay. By the translation 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 we will get UT plus AT square by 2 equal to S. We will write this formula once again here. Okay, 2UT by 2 plus AT square by 2 equal to 2S by 2. By the cancellation, 2 and 2 cancel and we are 2 and 2 cancel. Then we will get UT plus half AT square equal to S. Okay, we can write simply this as S is equal to UT plus half AT square. This is the second equation. Okay, now this is the second equation. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Do you understand? Once again, I will explain. Now, this is the Second equation of motion. This second equation of motion gives the distance travelled by a body in time t. Okay. Now the body is moving from one place to another place in a straight line, but the acceleration is constant. Remember that acceleration is acceleration is constant. Can we get average velocity? The sum of velocities by number of velocities. Here the sum of velocities is u and v. So u plus v by number of velocities are 2. So u plus v by 2. We will say this equation as a. Okay. Next we know that average velocity equal to displacement by time taken. That means velocity is V. Displacement is represented by the letter S. And time is T. By combining of A and B. This call as B. So we are combining A and B. By combining of A and B. We will get U plus V by 2 equal to S by T. We will call this as C. We know the first equation of motion. What is the first equation of motion? V equal to U plus AT. Then substitute this V equal to U plus AT in the above equation. Then we will get U plus. Here V is there. Instead of V, we will be replacing U plus AT. So this is as written as like this. U plus U plus AT by 2 equal to S by T. Here U plus U. U and AT by 2. Yes, by T. By the cross multiplication, we will get 2U 
equal to s plus s equal to u t plus half a t square. This is the equation of motion. Second equation of motion. Do you understand? Write down these all. We learn about first equation of motion and second equation of motion. Now we are going to learn about third equation of motion. Third equation of motion. What is third equation of motion? Can anyone say? It gives the velocity acquired by a body in travelling a distance s. Yes. Velocity acquired by a body in traveling a distance. Yes. The third equation of motion gives the velocity acquired by a body. Keep traveling a distance? Yes. Already we know that the first equation. What is the first equation? V equal to U plus EAT. This is the first equation. From this equation, we write EAT equal to V minus U. Okay. T equal to V minus U by A. Do you understand? V equal to U plus EAT. From this equation, A T equal to V minus U. T equal to V minus U by A. We know that the second equation. From the second equation, the C part. What is the C part? Average velocity. Average velocity equal to V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. Already write this equation in the part C. Okay, V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. Substitute this T value, this T value in this equation. Okay, V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. Here, the T value, substitute the T value as V minus U by A. So, we can simply write as V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. T means V minus U by A. V minus U by A. Okay. We will write this equation once again. V plus U by 2 equal to S by V minus U by A. This will be write as V plus U by 2 equal to S into a by V minus U. Okay. Do you understand how, how I will write here? V plus U by 2 equal to S into A by V minus U. Okay. From this, V plus U by 2 equal to AS by V minus U. V plus U by 2 equal to AS by V minus U. From this equation, cross multiply this equation by cross multiplication, we will write V plus U, this is the V plus U, into V minus U, into V minus U equal to 2AS, 2AS, okay. How it look like? Do you remember? It look like a plus B into A minus B. What is the formula for A plus B into A minus B? I will write here. A plus B into A minus B equal to A square minus B square. Yes. A square, A square minus B square. You write this formula in this formula. So, we will get V plus U, V plus U into V minus U equal to 2AS. Okay? This will be write as V plus U into V minus U equal to 2AS. This is as V square minus V square. From the formula of A plus B into A minus B equal to 
equal to a square minus b square. So, b square minus b square is equal to 2ABS. This is the third equation of motion. Third equation of motion. Okay. Now, we learn third equation of motion. Once again, I will explain the third equation of motion. Third equation of motion gives velocity acquired by a body in travelling a distance. Yes. Okay. From the equation what? V equal to U plus AT. AT equal to, from this equation, AT equal to V minus U. Here, T equal to V minus U by A. V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. This is from the equation C. In the equation 2, this is the part C. Average velocity. V plus U by 2 equal to S by T. Next, substitute this T value. This T value in this equation. So, we will get V plus U by 2 equal to S by V minus U by A. Here is the equation. Next, V plus U by 2 equal to S into what, what will happen? A by V minus U. S into A by V minus U. V plus U by 2 equal to A by V minus U. V plus U into V minus U equal to 2AS. It looks like the mathematical formula A plus B into A minus B equal to A square minus B square. Okay. Now we will get from this formula V plus U into V minus U as V square minus U square. So V square minus U square equal to 2AS. This is the third law of equation. Third equation of motion. Okay. Do you understand? I hope all the three laws are you are understand very well. Now let us solve some problems based on these three equations. You should do more problems as much as you can. Now the first problem is a car is all of you write down. A car is a car starting from a car starting from rest is accelerated accelerated a car starting from rest is accelerated at the rate of rate of 0 0.4 meter per second square find the distance covered by find the distance covered by the car in, in 20 seconds. Okay. Now, the problem is a car starting from rest is accelerated at the rate of 0 0.4 meter per second square Find the distance covered by the car in 20 seconds. First, we have to write the three equations. What are the three equations? V equal to U plus AT. X equal to UT plus cos AT square. V square minus U square equal to 2 AS. Can anyone guess? Which formula is used to solve this problem? All of you think once. These are the three laws. Which law is applicable to solve this problem? Let us guess. See, 
zero. Because starting from rest, that means v equal to zero. E is accelerated at the rate of zero point four meter per second square. Here, acceleration also given. What is the acceleration? V equal to zero point four meter per second square. Okay. And also find the distance covered by the car in twenty seconds. Time is also given. What is the time here? Time equal to twenty seconds. Okay. We have to find out the distance. Distance means yes. So which formula is applicable to solve this one? Here we have to find out the value of yes. There is no yes, but we have to find out the value of yes. So it is not applicable. Next we will take v square minus u square is equal to two x. In this, we know the value of u and we know the value of a, but we don't know the value of o, v. In this equation, we have to find out the values of both v and s. So, so we have not used. V square minus U square is equal to two AS to solve this problem. Now we have to use this formula to solve the problem. S is equal to U T plus half A T square. Here we know the value of U. What is the value of U? U equal to zero. Next, what is the time? Time is twenty seconds. And what is the acceleration? Y. Acceleration is zero point four meter per second square. We have to find out x value. So substitute all these values in this equation. Okay? Yes is equal to x is equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay? Substitute all these values in this equation. Yes means we have to find out the value of x. Yes, equal to u. What is the value of u? Zero. Zero into t. T value is twenty plus half a t square. What is the value of a? Acceleration zero point four. T square. What is the value of t? Twenty seconds. That means twenty square. Okay. Next. Yes, is equal to. Anything into zero is always zero. We know that. So zero into twenty zero. Then half into zero point four can be write as four by ten. Okay. Next twenty square means twenty into twenty. Twenty into twenty. Okay. Let us cancelation this. Ten ones are ten. Ten twos are twenty. Okay. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Now the value of R C is equal to two twos are four. Four twenties are eighty. So R C is equal to eighty meters. Why we write meters here? Distance is always in meters. So yes is equal to eighty meters. For this problem, we have to find out the distance. What will we will get the distance? Distance is eighty meters. Okay, do you understand? You you can practice some more problems. Let us solve one more problem on this equation. The second problem. A train traveling at Okay. 
distance traveled by the train traveled by the train plus 
पार्ट या कि स्क्वायर पार्ट ला वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके और सेकंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन ही गिव यू ए टी एंड वी आर वी सब्स्टिट्यूट ऑल दिस वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड फाइनली वी विल गेट द आंसर एस इज इक्वल टू 126 मीटर्स ओके डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी विल सॉल्व अनदर प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग दिस थ्री इक्वेशंस Write down the problem. I will write on the board. Third problem. Problem solving. We are solving the third problem. A scooter starts from starts from rest. A scooter starts from rest and moves. and moves with constant acceleration of 1.2 meter per second square Easy. 
equal to 2 into 1 by 2. How much? By by multiplication. 1.2 into 2 equal to 2.4. 2.4 into 16 minus 2.4 into 60 we will get 144 by multiplying 2.4 into 60 we will get 144 here the value v square we will get v square value as 144 but we have to find out v value how can we get v value V square equal to 144. V equal to square root of 144. Okay. V equal to square root of 144. 12, 12 12 are 144. So, root 144 means 12. So, V equal to 12. What is the dimensions for V? V velocity. Meter per second. Meter per second. So, by using the V square minus V square equal to 2 s formula, we get V value as 12 meter per second. Okay students, all of you know down this also. And all of you practice problems, more problems to solve these equations. And all the best. I hope you are all understand well motion, this chapter motion and the problem solving also, equations of motion. I hope all of you understand well. Okay, thank you. One and all. These are some questions based on those three equations. This is home assignment for you. To check your answers, for first question, you will get answer as D equal to 170 meters. For the second question, you will get answer as A equal to 8.10 meter per second square. For third question, you will get answer as final velocity is equal to minus 25.5 meter per second. For the last one, that is fourth one, the answer is D equal to 79.8 meters. Thank you all for your wonderful participation in my class. Stay home, stay safe. Study well and don't stop learning.